Well, hey, many of you remember him as Dr. George O'Malley on the hit show Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Yes. He was nominated for an Emmy in that role. He has also starred on Broadway, and now he's in town in Chicago for Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Please welcome T.R. Knight. Hi. Thank you. Hey, T.R. Hello. I love Thank your you. holiday sweater. Did you just create that? Mm. I did. I got the memo late, so <laughs> you made it work. This is a uh, my stocking from a when I was little, and so I sewed it out in my old sweater. Is so, that really? Yeah, this is made by my uh, like chain smoking, chain drinking grandmother. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who didn't have Who's one of those? Surprisingly, no longer with us. But um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was awful. Yeah, oh but it's, yeah, you're gonna get call. You're gonna get dark. call in that stocking. Yeah, there you go. But she made nice stockings. <laughs> now, yeah. everywhere you go, even just mentioning Grey's Anatomy, you heard the applause. Oh, yeah. is, it, is it still the fanfare? Still strong? Uh, yeah, it's still because it's still going, and so many of my friends are still on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, what What are your greatest memories from it? I think the friends I met. I learned a lot on it too. But I think. Did you learn I anything think medically? <laughs> Except that. Yeah, except, <laughs> except that. that. Yeah. Uh, lamb brains don't smell good. And oh. that, that, because that, they had to like, yeah, of course. Substitute, like, um, pig skin was the skin sometimes. Yeah. That, yeah. When they actually you know had to I don't cut think it. you ever really think about that when you're watching shows like that. No. I mean, you just think it's kind of a prop that they're a made, but. Sometimes it's plastic, but sometimes it's. It's the real deal. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about why you are in town. Yeah. Oh, and doing, yeah, you're doing a Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Yes. And uh, tell us a little bit about the show. Um, I play uh, Nick Bottom. He's one of the mechanicals, and he, uh, as you can see here, he gets turned into a donkey uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, in the middle of the show uh, by uh, by the fairies. Right. So um, it's it's just it's a show that I, I did a long time ago in another role, uh -huh. 22 years ago, and so I've always wanted to play this role and. Uh, um, just and in so here happy you're an be... aspiring thespian, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to be the, the, the amateur actor. Amateur okay. actor, I think. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, uh, it's just a. Uh, in Chicago, Shakespeare is an amazing theater, and right. being able to be, uh, you know, welcomed into the Chicago theater community. I was going to say they're awesome. The audiences are here, awesome here, right? And they yeah. really welcome well, the you. And it's a great place. Here. I grew up in Minneapolis, so uh, which also is an amazing theater community. But uh, you know, we always knew how like Chicago was like. The, amazing for theater so it's just to be able to work with these amazing yeah. actors here has been really right uh, the production is a midsummer night's dream it runs through January 27th throughout your career what what has stood out the most is, is it performing on Broadway people say there's nothing else like that I don't know I think any any theater is has its I I, I grew up doing it so I grew up doing theater I, I Grey's was really my first show on television. Mm -hmm. I did another one, but it was a sitcom, and we only did seven episodes. But there's nothing like theater. So it, it doesn't really matter whether it's Broadway or... Uh, uh, or off-Broadway. Or, or off-Broadway or a tiny little 99-seat house in Minneapolis. It's, uh, it all has that... There's nothing uh, that can sim simulate that uh, community, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, and also just the challenge of doing... The, uh, show uh, night after night and all the things you learn and trying to you know get better and learn yeah. more and, and to all, master and, it uh, and the, also that relationship that the audience has uh, with the cast and uh, and the crew and it's just it's a, it's it's a feeling that you just kind of gets it it's hook into you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Well, you. make sure you go see TR at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater now through January 27th in the Midsummer Night's Dream.